Peace be with you. In this video, I'm going to talk about a verse from the Quran, the second verse from the 24th chapter of the Quran. And this verse will be objectionable to many people from the West because they were culturally indoctrinated to think that way. And I used to uh, find this uh, verse very objectionable when I was an atheist. And the verse goes, As for the fornicator and the fornicatress, or an adulterer and an adulteress, give each of them a hundred lashes, and do not let pity for them detain you in a matter of obedience to God, and let a group of believers uh, witness their punishment. I used to think that this was barbaric, and I used to not like this, and I used to use this when I was an atheist as an argument against the Quran, until I opened my eyes and looked at the world. world. This is what we call in America an ass whooping. So this is what you use to control your children so they don't uh, find themselves in the positions of severe danger and severe distress, which I will now explain. Let's talk about the consequences of that uh, behavior. There is a pure genocide. Every year, almost a million children are murdered by their own mothers. They are dismembered limb from limb. If you want to if you want to know what a second trimester abortion looks like, you know, you take this instrument called a sofa clamp and you just kind of latch on to whatever. You rip out an arm. You, you literally dismember a human being limb, limb from limb. They used to be uh, called quartering in the ancient world, right? They tie your arms and legs to horses and then they rip you apart alive. This is what you're doing to little children. And most of these... Most of these murder, this genocide originates with what? Fornication. Yes, there is incest. And yes, there is uh, rape. But these are probably less than 1% of all murders that occur of children in the, in, in the Western world. So what's worse? An ass whooping or a genocide of a million kids a year? And literally brutal genocide, dismembering them limb from limb. Okay, that's not the only thing, though. How about uh, sexually transmitted diseases, right? You can fix tra sexually transmitted diseases in one generation. You don't need great science. You don't need drugs. You don't need anything. You can stop every single sexually transmitted disease in one generation, free of charge, with an ass whooping. Yes, that's you can stop it because if you make if you structure your system in such a way to where monogamy is the way of life. If people are honorable and they don't cheat on each other and they don't use e each other for their own sexual gratification, then you stop all the diseases that are of sexual nature. All of them. I'm not a fool to think that this will happen in my lifetime, that people will agree to this in my lifetime in the Western world. This, I know it's not going to happen. And I would never advocate for this to be, uh, uh, you know, implemented by force. People need to agree on this, and they need to see the the reason behind it. They need to clearly see the world for what it is before this will be this would be universally adopted. But this is the only way. This is the way to protect your children. You know, when you're an adult, you're not going to have a lot uh, as far as adultery. Yeah, it may happen sometimes as an adult, but this is for kids when their hormones are raging. This is a tool for parents to control their children to help them because now. If you look in the West, parents got no control over the kids. When the kids want to do it, they, they don't know what to do. So the social scientists, you know, in charge of, oh, yeah, put them on birth control. At least do that, right? Use condoms for STDs. Do that. It's ineffective. It's ineffective. Everything they've tried in the Western world is ineffective, and society continues to degrade. That's not only that. Single-parent households. In some demographics in, demographics in the United States, single-parent household rate is as high as 70%. And over and at about 80% of people who are incarcerated, who are in jail in the United States of America, guess what? They come from single parent households. That is also a result of fornication. These men, they run out on these women, they make these kids, and they run out on these women, and the women are there left trying to pick up the pieces, but they can't by themselves. You need two people to raise a child. And you know who's going to be the first victim when the wealth runs out? Single parent households, these single mothers with these kids, nobody's going to give a crap about them, and they are going to be the first to suffer and the first to die whenever society hits any sort of a speed bump and, and uh, money and, and abundance dries up. So you have all of these, all of these problems, a genocide, poverty, uh, disease that are caused by this behavior 
and a simple ass whooping can bring it. But people think that an ass whooping is barbaric, and all the right, all this other stuff is is not barbaric. And that is the delusion we live under. But like I said, I don't think anybody's going to hear me, and I don't think anybody's going to change my lifetime. But I do think that people in the West, the Muslims, people who say we are Muslims, who choose to be Muslims, should at least be allowed to implement this among themselves so they can protect your daughters, right? So they can protect other people's daughters and they can protect their own name. Because when Muslims, for example, in Germany, people who call themselves Muslims, right, when they raped these, uh, these women during New Year's or whatever, all Muslims took the blame. We don't want that blame and you're too easy on them. If it was, if it was a rape, then let us castrate them. They wanted to do it in our name. Let us castrate them. Because you guys, are, you know, Western world is too weak on these people. And if it was consensual and you don't want your daughter doing that, then we will we will take care of our side. An ass whooping. And every time they try to do it, it's going to be a hundred lashes. It's not torture. It's not like, you know, like they were doing to slaves. You take a belt and you whoop somebody a hundred times, right? That's an ass whooping. That's what, that's what it is. And it is effective. It will be effective. It would be effective. And I think at least Muslims should have the opportunity to protect themselves against people who hide behind our faith and do these kind of despicable things to other people's daughters, to other people's sons. At least we shouldn't be blamed for it. Let us punish them. And that's why I think at least that should be allowed for those who call themselves Muslims. But I know that won't happen either in my lifetime. But that's my argument. That is my reasoning. And that is why God commands this because the alternative to an ass whooping is a genocide it is a a, a a pandemic after pandemic after pandemic and it is severe poverty that's why peace be with you